Arrangement of parts in a flower. A flower is a specialized shoot in which the leaves have been modified into floral structures. Summary of a bisexual flower. Floral symmetry. Flowers are classified into two types based on their symmetry. They are actinomorphic and zygomorphic flowers. Actinomorphic flowers are radially symmetrical and they can be cut into similar halves along more than one vertical plane. Zygomorphic flowers are bilaterally symmetrical and they can be cut into similar halves only along one vertical plane. Position of floral leaves on the thalamus. There are three types of flowers based on the position of floral leaves on the thalamus and they are hypogynous, perigynous and epigynous. The ovary of a hypogynous flower is superior and it occupies the highest position on the thalamus. China rose and mustard are examples of hypogynous flowers. Perigynous flower has a half inferior ovary and it is partially sunken in the thalamus. Pea and bean are examples of perigynous flowers. Epigynous flower has inferior ovary and it is completely enclosed within the thalamus. Apple and pear are examples of epigynous flowers. Gynesium. The female reproductive part of the flower is called the gynesium. Gynesium is made up of one or more carpels. Epocarpus and syncarpus are two types of carpels. Epocarpus. It is a polycarpullary gynesium. Carpels of epocarpus are free and each carpel shows an ovary style and stigma. Custard apple and magnolia are examples of epocarpus. Syncarpus. It is a polycarpillary gynesium. Carpels are fused to form a single pistil showing ovary, style and stigma. Based on the number of carpels, the ovary may be many-chambered. Hibiscus and mustard are good examples of syncarpus. Inflorescence. The mode of arrangement of flowers on the shoot system is called inflorescence. Inflorescence is the axis bearing a cluster of flowers. It may be racemos or cymos. Racemos inflorescence. Racemos inflorescence has indefinite growth. The main stock of racemos inflorescence continues to grow producing flowers at the tip. Older flowers are at the base and the younger ones and buds are at the apex. Gulmohar and gladiolus are examples of racemose inflorescence. Cymose inflorescence Cymose inflorescence has definite growth. Main stalk of cymose inflorescence ends in a flower and further growth is due to lateral branches, which also end in a flower. Older flowers are on top or in the center, and younger flowers and buds are on the sides or at the base. Jasmine 
and Ixora are examples of cymose inflorescence.